Hello and welcome along to Moss Valley. I've taken on a failing farm with aging equipment and I've got two years to turn it around. Can I do it? Let's get farming. So here we are, finally, we're on Moss Valley. We've got uh, Landy here and uh, that is our base car, but uh, I am taking on the failing farm here at the center. We've got 42,020 pounds to start with. But we do have a full set of equipment on here. So I'm going to take you through quickly. We've got the newest piece of equipment on the farm. Uh, that is this uh, JCB telehandler. That is our most recent. Otherwise, everything is from about, well, between 20 and 30 years ago. Uh, our oldest piece of equipment here is the Ford uh, Sabra. Uh, this is our front loader yard tractor. We've got a new Holland TM155 as well. Uh, we've got a new Holland 30. We've got a new Holland 8340 as well. Then over this way here, uh, we've got another shed that has our biggest tractor on the farm. Uh, this is a New Holland 8970. So this is our big walk, walk. So this is our big workhorse tractor that we have on the farm. And uh, and then we have got a, a newer cedar on here. We've got a uh, farmer, uh, farmit, sorry, uh, falcon cedar here. This does fertilizing and seeding. Uh, we have a weeder, uh, a carré weeder. Uh, this is actually a hoe, which we need for these. And uh, and then this is our mulcher on the farm. This is a, a rober mower, and, uh, and that acts as the mulcher for all of our equipment. And then down the bottom here near the old cow sheds, we have a trailer, a roller, and a plow and just over the wall here is our new holland d1000 baler and the situation on the farm is pretty dire we have a one million pound loan that we need to pay off in the next two years or the farm is going to be taken by the bank uh, we've had to sell off all of the cows immediately just to keep ourselves uh, our heads above water and, uh, and get ourselves uh, back in the black even slightly. The farm does have uh, some chickens still. Uh, you can hear them clacking away and some pigs. So we've got 50 chickens that we're looking to breed up uh, to create some eggs and uh, to sell off. So we're going to be trying to build up a, a good stock of chickens for that. Uh, we also have 40 pigs. We've got 20 of the German Landris and uh, 20 of the Bethlehem or Bethlehem Black. And 20 of the Bethlehem Black Hide as well. Uh, hopefully, both of these will be able to, over the next couple of years, breed up some pigs as well and will be able to sell some off at the end of the year. It wasn't, or at the end of the two years, it wasn't really as viable to sell uh, these off as it was the cows. Uh, and while the cows would have brought us in uh, some milk on a regular basis, uh, we, we're going to try and do it with the pigs and uh, the chickens on here. We do have a pig feed mixer, so we're going to be trying to fill this up. And in fact, that is what our garden over this way is for as well. But as you can see, the garden itself is in pretty poor shape too. So the first thing we want to do is get the yard tractor out today. We're going to uh, hook up the Joskin, get some water in this, and get a very basic garden working. We want to get manure and seeds in here uh, later to increase its production. Uh, but uh, certainly we want to get some, uh, some potatoes, uh, sorry, some sugar beet and some corn out of here to start getting the pigs fed and then we've got our two large fields to harvest we've got 32 which has got barley in which will give us some chicken feed immediately so we're going to start attacking that today and then as we go into next month uh, we are going to get field 33 harvested just to give you a quick overview of the settings that we're going to be running on this playthrough uh, we have 
uh, a 10 times time scale with two days per month, uh, normal economic difficulty, and uh, everything else turned on that uh, adds more realism and all the bits turned off that don't so we have got the trailer field limit on our ai workers do not buy or get any of their stuff we have to fill it for them and uh yeah everything else is uh is pretty much as we normally have it so let's get cracking we'll grab the yard tractor first we'll get that water filled up and then we're going to get the combine out and start a harvest let's hook up to our water trailer then uh, hook that up to the back uh, refill it and we've got a water pump here that we are filling off uh, which is quite a useful little feature to have on the farm it's a ground source water pump so uh, it doesn't cost us anything to use uh, we just need to keep it maintained and of course speak to the uh, the water board for how much we're actually taking out of our borehole Trailer's all filled up, so we'll pull this forward and get it into the garden. That'll get the garden working. The idea, really, very quickly here is to get the pigs producing some manure for us if we can. So let's overload that. Uh, and if we can get the pigs producing some manure, we can then use that in here as well. Something that I do find a little bit weird on this map is that we have no means of putting straw into the pig sheds. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, they just produce the manure. But we'll see what happens once we actually get them running. We get some feed into them and, uh, and everything going that way. So we'll park this trailer back up here. We'll drop it off again, and that should keep the garden going for a while. Next, we're going to get the combine out and start harvesting. So I'm going to hook this up to the header trailer and uh, bring it into position for our harvester. Now, all of our equipment on this farm has a fair amount of hours on it already. And we're also running the damage mod. Uh, this is also a little bit damaged at the moment as well. Uh, hopefully should be all right. We've not got a massive amount of use on this. So let's hook that all up. Uh, back our combine off. And our combine is a, a New Holland TX66. Uh, this one is from the early 2000s, I believe. And, uh, and as a result, we are ending up with... A, uh, a machine that's a little bit older, but should still do as well, at least to begin with. We will unfold it, and uh, what I'm going to get done on here is to get a hired worker to be doing this. We have enough money to, to get started with that. So let's take that off. We will start her up start up the thresher as well down the front goes and into the crop and i think we need to turn on the straw swath yeah fold that up we want to be creating straw because even if our pigs aren't using it we want to be selling it and then we're going to create a course on this field Six me to work with one tool uh i want to do at least three headlands with this six meter headland uh headlands i want a sharp turn in the corners and we want to be doing lands and six of those in the middle so let's uh create a course we should be bypassing the circles as well so let's close that yeah so we're bypassing where our two wind turbines are and if we start that uh yeah we close this we should then be able to go first waypoint turn it onto that and away goes the combine Carting on our farm will be done by the 8340 here we're gonna hook this up to our grain trailer it's quite muddy down this side of the farm we still have a load of mud left over from when the uh cows were down here and I need to maneuver myself around and out of here a little bit. There we go. So we'll head up to the field. We'll keep the combine going. 
and uh, and make sure that everything is running as smoothly as possible uh, at this early stage our first load from here uh, is gonna need to go in with the chickens i think and then the second load we will put in with the pigs and at least get some feed into both of those today to get them started off part of our problem on the farm so far up to this point they've had an issue with crop yield and you can begin to see it here as well as we have a look at the yield map it's really dire they are down to about 65 percent yield on here so our first thing in this first year is going to be trying to improve the yield on both of our fields uh, and uh, and get this up so that we can pay the loan off quicker and we've also got weeded bits of older crops at the edge here so we're running barley on here this year um, but those are tufts of wheat that have sort of grown around the edge of the field. So there's quite a bit of a, a weed problem from there. It looks like they've got control of it here. But uh, the weeds seem to be uh, at the edges seem to be pretty bad. And old weeded crops is definitely going to reduce our yield. Combine is showing that it's ready to empty. So we'll let that turn the corner. And then we will pick up on the next row. He thinks he's emptying here. He's not. He's going to empty along the roadside here. And uh, that is the one good thing about the fairly poor yield on this. Is that the, uh, the combine has at least made it this far around the field. Uh, before we are looking to empty let's go down a gear and try and get this to empty out yeah there we go doing a nice job and this trailer should take at least two full tanks off this combine so we are looking to keep things nicely going that way and i am struggling to get the tractor up this hill yeah, uphill karting is not fun. Coming up to 50% full, and I think the combine is probably empty. Yeah. So we'll come out there, and uh, we'll pick it up again, probably in roughly the same place on the next run around the field. Considering that I want to put about half a trailer into each of uh, my animal areas at the moment, what I'm going to do is come around and, uh, and we'll start with the chickens and get the chickens fed. Uh, they shouldn't take a massive amount. And I think we'll go with the chicken area down the bottom here first. So this one here, that is pigs. Uh, this one should be chickens, so we can overload the barley into there. Yeah, there we go. So we'll tip this into here. We'll see how much these take. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it's no more than half the trailer. Yep, half the trailer has gone in. And that sets up this set of chickens. And just over, just over half a trailer actually should be enough. Uh, these will only eat 1,560 litres in the year. So these have plenty of feed. I expect that number to go up once chickens start breeding in here, though. So one thing about starting this farm with aging equipment is that it is going to be more prone to damages accruing on it. Uh, all of our equipment has at least... 30 hours on it with the exception of the telehandler the telehandler i think is under 10 hours um, but everything else we have has more than 30 hours on it the exception to that is this our ford 7740 uh zebra uh this has 56 hours on it so uh is more prone to breaking more often but should be a tractor we end up using a lot less than some of the others uh, the other thing I, I need to talk about on here is that we will be doing the number plates on all of this equipment. Uh, I will be picking a number plate. I think today we'll do the 8340 
and we'll pick someone at random from our patrons and channel members to have their name on the number plate so uh we will do that before the end of today's video as well the harvester is coming up to 80 percent full so we want to head down here and keep that going i think it might even be 80 percent at this point in fact is our uh, are the beacons going yeah the beacons are going on the harvester so we want to get this emptied i'm just looking i'm wondering if this harvester is going to get through all this field today i hope it is we are on two day months so if we have if we need the time to do a little bit extra we can and there we are let's get this going up the hill having to drop down a gear to make sure that we can keep up with the harvester there we go the moment i take my foot off the accelerator we lose all power and the harvester starts creeping to the front like that trying to keep the harvester in the trailer on this hill is always a pain both like this and in real life it was always difficult to get that done uh but we are coming up to a half build trailer we want to make sure that we can is he going to turn in we're a bit close yeah he's gonna turn in and we are almost up to a half full trailer which we want to put in with the other chickens this time now our other chickens have a slightly different way of being fed we need to open up this and then come into here i'm not sure what the filling section for that is unless this is or is this a grain store i didn't think this was a grain store this should be yeah this is an area for chickens so i'm guessing it's a store as well as uh, somewhere for uh to feed the chickens let's tip this though and uh, it takes a little while for this trainer to start tipping and when it does it's really noisy that is such a noisy trailer but it's all in there it tips nice and fast and yeah that has gone into our chicken so both chickens sets of chickens are now fed and we can start turning our attention to the pigs i'm gonna pick the harvester up at the bottom corner here that way we'll be able to fill up all the way along here and make sure the harvester is empty before it starts its uh cuttings on the field and we begin to work our lands and it is now 20 past one in the afternoon uh we are making decent time although i think it might be into the evening to get this field done uh we really do want to get this field finished though and make sure that we are uh able to move on to the canola the next day and start getting this field bailed I've learned my lesson and I've now got the tractor on cruise control to match the combine. It is matching the combine very nicely and uh, we are keeping good steady pace up this hill. And if I need to add a little bit of more space between the back and the front, I can. And we probably need to drop down a gear or two just to keep things going but uh much more controlled this time in uh keeping the combine emptying and by the time we hit the top here we should be good yeah things are looking good as we make it to the top and i think the combine's gonna stop around about here ish before it does its cut in and yeah, it's empty, so we've only got 39% or 6,500 litres here. Uh, but we can leave that to go and cut in, and I'm going to go and stick this with the pigs so that they start getting some feed 
and uh, and start getting to work while our combine very sensibly is going to go across the slope of this field now later on i plan to start putting the feed or putting some barley directly into the pig feeder and we'll start generating some pig feed but for now we don't have any sugar beet or any uh, corn available so our best thing to get our pig started is just to reverse up and tip some barley straight in with them and where is my tip point there it is so we'll bring this here and just tip this with our pigs there we go in that goes and again a slow tipping trailer and that is the barley tipped into there how does that do us for pig feed so that is uh the black pied uh 6500 yeah we are a long way off their yearly food uh we want and that's there's no base food in that so we uh we really need to to make sure we get some more food in that should do them though until we can generate some food in the pig food mixer though this is quite cool you can see course play very deftly hang handling uh our hole in the middle of the field here really working well to keep that uh sorted and i think it'll probably go that round that one more time because we are on six row uh cuttings here six row lands and uh yeah it's working really well around all of that still a while i think before our harvester is full while we're waiting for the combine to refill let's take the 8340 into the workshop and select somebody at random from the supporters uh on patreon and youtube channel membership uh to go on the number plate and congratulations to Mark B747. I've tried to get your name as best as I can into a British number plate. And I've ended up with MB74MRC. So uh, we'll put you on the number plate. Uh, and you can see it here on the back of the tractor. And we'll take this back up to the field and get the combine unloaded. And I can see the lights going on the combine now. So we want to line ourselves up ready to pick it up on the next row. Hopefully there's enough space in the combine. And get into position, drop ourselves down a couple of gears and away we go. Yep, perfect tandem with the combine as we move across the field. And, uh, and empty it out. This lot is going to go into the other pig pen and, uh, and get the feed started for them. And the combine is empty. So let's go and tip this and, uh, and get those pigs fed. Riding with the combine a bit and uh, it's currently going around the, uh, around the bottom of the wind turbine here and hopefully then it's gonna yeah continue on its way uh, it is navigating around those quite nicely and uh, means that we are uh, able to keep the field going we're about halfway through the field it is quarter past four though and uh, and time is getting on in the day the yield is horrible you can see here that we are way down on what we should be this is 60 percent no 65 percent we're getting across most of the field our highest is 70 percent in patches the problem we got at the moment is none of this farm is actually scanned so uh we've got what appears to be three fields worth of stuff i think that there is actually because we own all of the uh outer areas around here and uh, it doesn't actually cost anything for that i don't think as opposed to yes yeah, so all of the outer areas uh are valued at uh not much at all a uh, 48000 uh but 
there's nothing really we can do with them but those are affecting our precision farming score uh we can see here we're harvesting and uh and we've got uh no nitrogen on here at all at the moment so there's a lot of work to do we're, we're probably gonna have to hire something to get the lime and uh, the ph value sorted on here uh, there's going to be a lot of work to get these fields back into shape because of the position this farm is in we won't actually be able to take any loans in this series the bank is on our back we do have a million pounds to pay off within two years and uh, and they're not going to let us borrow any more so any money that we do get on here uh, is going to have to fund whatever we're doing on this farm and uh, we'll be have to be very careful as a result as to when we will be doing uh, any paying off of the loan because as soon as we pay that money off on the loan we won't be able to increase the loan again in its place we really have to make sure that uh, what we do and when we do it is done very tactically on here and checking on our garden our first produce has come out of it we need to stay on top of this uh we need to keep putting it into our pig feed mixer because that's all of our the, all the reason that our garden exists on here uh, and uh initially we've got a thousand liters of sugar beet so in our mix this will do 10,000 liters of pig food so uh, in fact we're not going to need a huge amount more i think we're probably only going to need two crates of sugar beet in this first mix and then after that uh we'll be looking to solely produce corn in there because we need four and a half times more corn oh and i need to be careful of that we put some of that straight into the pig food there as we drove past uh we drive through that there and uh yeah we feed the pig stuff that we don't mean to feed them so we've got to go above and not below i'm going to park this over here i think we might end up getting some corn out tonight as well i think we've made a really good start here today the farm is going we know what we've got to do and uh, and how much uh, we've got to work with to do it i'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into this and uh, and getting rid of this loan that we've got this tractor is having great fun pulling this half filled trailer up this hill in fact i'm kind of wondering if uh, our load limit is going to kick in before the end of it right get into place get ourselves on with the uh, cruise control we are really near the front of the trailer and uh, yeah the lights are coming on so the dew's coming in this is going to be our last load off this field today and uh we will pick it up tomorrow uh, of course if you're a patron or channel member of harvest master or above you'll be able to have immediate access to the next episode so uh yeah go check it out as soon as we're done here uh for now though the harvest is paused while we go through the night and all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye